again as we have crossed level two let's see what challenges we are going to face in level three okay so it is again showing me what mistake i mean they did in level two and how basically we can fix that even they were telling any authenticated aws it should not be like that it should be you should give a permission to a specific aws CU. otherwise someone already having an aws cli account somewhere can also see your bucket that's what the problem with the level two now we'll see what problem we can face in level three so the next level is fairly similar with a slight twist time to find your first aws key i bet you will find something that will let you list what other buckets are it means it will not be a direct listing but with some other format but surely i will click on this i will try to write again aws s3 ls s3 bucket name and what we copy pasted will remove http and enter yeah so we got everything but is there any secret thing which we can show authenticated user it's a image that we saw there these all are hints which i don't want index.html was the page so robo.txt i'm thinking like this should not be our page but yeah this is of real interest dot get so now what i will do is ls s3 and then sync because sync is a sub command we needed a top level command which was s3 aws s3 sync and the file name and what i want to tell is copy paste it in clause level 3 so clause 3 if the permission is there okay awesome so we have the permission and it got downloaded everything in our folder called flaws 3 so now we'll see if we have anything here ls minus la did that dot git got copied yes dot git got copied so what next we can just check git status okay so it means we can run all the git commands here so it means in past something happened in this git from where we can get some information to go to our level four so the place we should check the command that we should check is git log awesome there are two commits in git log and we found something oops accidentally added something i should not have which means with this commit the person has added some secret key which we will leverage to go to level four now how to get that either we can do git checkout and the particular hash command when we do it git log so now if we branch out if we check out this commit we will get whatever the mistake this person did in the next commit so the option is either we can do git checkout so we can do git checkout and with a particular hash commit if we do this it got switched to this one so you see here instead of master now i'm in master one right it means with this commit we should have some other file we have this file access underscore keys dot txt right now what this file has if we cat it we'll get it yeah so now i got aws cli command for this particular user so if we copy paste this in our aws configure now this time i will create aws profile with level 3 because we got it in a level 3 so we'll configure this with level 3 now it is asking me access key id so this is access key id i'm just copy pasting it and then secret access keys this one I will copy paste this and default region so as I came to know that it is us hyphen west 2 I'm putting it like this JSON configuration done now you will ask me how you came to know that it is us hyphen west hyphen 2 right so what I did is host and then flaws dot cloud host flaws dot cloud gave me this ip address when i again clicked on this with this ip address i came to know that this is a domain name pointer to s3 website 
and hosted in a region us hyphen west hyphen two that's the reason i put in that level three profile default region us hyphen west hyphen two right now if i do aws s3 ls and of the profile level three now it will take those two keys and we got everything here so we can directly go to the end and uh, we are done with all the level but this is not the way to learn right so level three is done so we'll just copy this level four from here and we'll paste it here voila we are in level four now okay so i just wanted to tell you one more thing let's go to back one hit checkout master so now you will not see access key here right but we check like in git log we already had this commit right so i just want to see what actually this person committed with this git okay so the simple thing is we can do git log hyphen p and hyphen one so we could have copied key and secret access key from here as well so there are two ways to do that this is the second way thank you